what's going on guys so today i'm gonna tell you how to instantly boost your photo game and take better photos the first thing that's a must 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 do if you're not doing this it'll instantly change the full game is to plan your photos whether it be you know like what time are you shooting if you want the softest light it's either the morning or the afternoon which is like dusk the golden hour whether you want you know if you shoot portraits you want to shoot in between these two times you don't want to you know the midday shadows and ugh. all depending on what you're looking for right like the lighting on the subject whether you want soft harsh just plan it out and you'll end up with better images. Get closer, fill the frame because those images are just more appealing. You wanna just getting closer. If you're taking a photo of maybe a flower, you don't wanna take it from so far back. You wanna you know get in close, fill the frame, show all the detail. You definitely wanna move it from the middle of the frame. It's more of a artistic type of image. You know, if you throw, instead of throwing your subject dead in the center, move it off to one of the sides and it's more visually pleasing. If you're taking photos of kids, for example, you wanna get down on their level, so you know, lower yourself down, shoot from their level. You don't wanna shoot down onto a subject because that's just not a pleasing angle. You wanna get down on their level. Maybe if they're playing around in the grass, you wanna get down, show some of the grass blades and stuff like that. It's on a different perspective. I would say definitely check your photos because there's nothing worse than shooting 100, 200 images back to back and not checking them. Come to find out that it's out of focus or it's overexposed, it's underexposed. Yes, you can compensate a little bit when you're editing, but if it's too far gone, it's not gonna look good, you know, grain. Even maybe you might not see something when you're taking the photos. Maybe something's wrong in the background. Maybe, you know, there's something messed up with the subject that you're taking photos of. Be a photo director. If you're taking photos of say, your sister, brother, just friend in general, don't be afraid to move them. Take whatever they want, you know, whether it's just like a random photo on your phone. If you see something that would make the photo better, just let them know, be like, all right, turn this way, turn that way, take a step back, take a step forward, do a crazy face, do a crazy pose, something different, it'll make for a better photo, maybe they'll like it, maybe they won't, but who cares, it's just an extra photo. Definitely try to find an interesting angle, whether, you know, if everyone takes a photo of, say, a mountain, for instance, try to find a different angle, because if everyone's shooting the exact same thing, why is your photo better than their photo? Maybe it'll be a better quality, maybe a little bit more saturated, you know, maybe perfectly exposed, but for the most part, everyone's photo is gonna be the same, but if you find a different interesting angle on something, your photo will stand out from the bunch. Try shooting through something, you know, make it so it's a little blurry in the foreground, you know, even if you don't have the greatest camera in the world, if you're just shooting with your phone, you know, try shooting through something. Try, you know, putting something really close to the camera. Maybe it's a leaf, for instance. Even if it's like a wall here, like a wall here, and like, you know, subjects over here, and then something's in the background, and you build like a kind of like a frame, it'll be more interesting than if you just took the photo of the person itself. You know, something different. Different is always good. And that leads into my next one of be different. Don't do what everybody else is doing. If you go somewhere and everyone's taking photos in front of this wall, dead on, dead center, try to be different. Different is always good. Maybe get like a side profile with you on the wall. Different makes you stand out and people will appreciate different. The last thing I have to say is don't rush it. Spend your time, take your time, plan it. It doesn't always have to be like to the T of like everything planned. You know, if you're taking photo of, you know, your girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever, you don't have to be like, he has to be wearing this. He has to be wearing this. He has to look like this. It has to be this time of day, perfectly like that. But what I'm saying is, you know, if you're going to a random place, you see a photo, you're like, all right, let's take five photos and then move on. You know, maybe spend the extra, you know, five, 10 minutes to get the photo perfect. Take a couple photos here, see what we can improve on, check your images, take a couple more, spend the time to get that photo to be perfect. You'll thank me later for it. That's all my photo tips on how to instantly improve your photo game. If I missed anything, leave it down in the comments below. If you did like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And until the next video, peace.